Hello everybody and welcome to Sub-Zero Computing's very first review. A case, another case. God, I love them. Anyway, I'm your host, Tim. This is the Bitfinex Aegis, not the Aegis Core. The actual Aegis MATX case, uh, mostly built for enthusiasts. Um, right now, I don't really know much about the case, so let's have a quick review of the features. <clears throat> so, from what I was looking on the Bitfinex page, which will be in the description, this is what I'm looking forward to. The Bitfinex Icon Programmable Display. This means you can have your own custom computer icon. I'm really looking forward to it. Completely water coolable with 240 and 280mm radiators and apparently can also fit a 360mm in the front. I assume probably a fairly thin radiator, but that's okay. Uh, it also has pump and or pump res mounts, whatever you want to call them. I'd say this is more of a reservoir mount and then this is more of a pump mount, but of course that'll see. Um, so let's get this thing out of the box and see how it goes. I've cut it open already, obviously. I couldn't hold my silent. going to be an interesting one. Oh, look at that. It's up. Okay, so... One case box. So. <clears throat> Looking good. The big grand unveil. Here she is. Not standing up. Fresh out of the box, the Bitfinex Aegis. That is so satisfying. Oh, God. It gets better every time, I tell you. A uh, massive thank you to uh, Richard Prins of Bitfinex Netherlands uh, who made this all happen. So, thank you, Richard, for that. Okay, so basically, we've got the case itself, the Bitfinex Aegis manual. Um, Basically gives you pretty much instructions, quite a few cases I've reviewed. Oh, the main one, the P380, which I reviewed for Overclock.net, didn't actually come with a um, booklet. It required you to go online and get the instructions, which I thought was a bit of a, a bit of a downer. But every company has their tactics, so you've got to, you've got to respect them as such. Let's open her up and see what we got. Oh, this case is so fresh. Oh. oh yeah, inside the case we have the required accessory kit they all come with.
Clear your side panel. So, plenty of room. It's a good proper size window, um, which is one thing a lot of case manufacturers will cut it off here or make some weirdly shaped ones. It's good to see these full size windows come in. There went the screws. I'll pick them up in a minute. So here we have the interior. It's pretty good looking. We're gonna do an overview right now. Okay guys, so inside the Aegis, as you can plainly see, we've got a couple of hard drive bays and what I assume is actually dedicated. That is cool. Okay guys, we're just gonna look at that again. What we have is something I've never really seen before. I assume it goes in just like that. An easy remove internal hard drive bay, which I think is just awesome. Take a look at that. So basically what we've got here is the Aegis interior. So let's have a quick overview. We've got the five PCIe slots for your MATX motherboards. Now, unlike a lot of cases, this is restricted to an MATX motherboard. You will not get an ATX board in there, regardless of how hard you try. Um, we also have easy removal hard drive cages, which is awesome for modding. And there at the front, you can see quite blatantly how you can get a big radio radiator in, which is really good to see. You, if I don't even think that would have to be removed to get a 360 mil in, to be honest, but it would require a bit of modification. Just to show you how easy that this goes back in, I'm gonna slide it in, and we're gonna have a quick look. Easy, absolutely spot on, it's just awesome. Fantastic design on Bitfinex's part. A small accessory box here, which I will just crack open. Okay, so here we have the hard drive cage rails, basically. If you're unfamiliar with how these work, um, you probably haven't worked on many modern computers in that case. That's okay. You basically, uh, you get a hard drive, you put these on it and you slide it straight in, it'll click. I'll go get a cheap hard drive quickly for a good demonstration. Okay, so for a good example of how these hard drive rails work, you've got a standard hard drive here. This is my WD Black 2 terabyte. Goes straight into the screw holes. Doesn't seem to want to fit. Oh, there you go. Goes in nice and tight like that. That in simple easy could not be any simpler than that now that is a bit of a design for there it's a bit hard to get the clip out um, but of course given the nature and the size of the case there's not a lot they can do about that uh, naturally you'd be installing the drive backwards so you can run the cables through the back here for good cable management I do have a build plan for this. Unfortunately, I don't have an MATX motherboard available just yet. So the build will be held off. So we're gonna have a quick look at what other accessories it comes with. These are the rails for up here where you can evidently fit two, two and a half inch SSDs. Some cable ties, screws, fan screws, more cable ties and other anonymous screws. Aha! And here we have a mount for water cooling gear. You could mount a pump on here. It also has anti-vibration material if you can see it. 
That is a really good idea on Bitfinex's part, which basically means that you get those noisy DDC pumps. The, DD, the D5 water pumps aren't normally so noisy, but still they can cause a bit of vibration. You fix it on here, clamp it down nice and tight, you won't hear it, which means your water cooling system will be quiet, efficient, look awesome. What more can you ask for, really? So that's a good accessory kit that, that they bring with it. Don't mind that at all. And they even give you a nifty little box to keep it all in, which I probably will just throw in my toolbox, but that's beside the point. So, that's that. Let's have a look at the front panel. Here we have the Bitfinex front panel. We have power button, reset, and I assume fan controller. Yet to be discovered. And here we have where the Bitfinex icon system had come up. Now, from what I hear, that is completely programmable. You can change it to whatever you like and it'll appear right there. That is awesome. I love it. Great stuff, Bitfinex. Let's have a look at the back panel and see how much room we're given for cable management. Screws are on tight, it's always good to say. What I do like here on the paint finish, you can probably see my little GoPro rocking out, is the pure gloss finish, that looks really good. Okay, so we have a little bit of room, but what I like here is a little indentation where you can run your big cables such as your 24 pin or your graphics power. Untangle these. Oh, actually, we'll leave them there for now. Bring these out. Oh, we need to bring that out. Mm -hmm. okay. Also, I like how they've used good, sub good solid rubber grommets, even here for the 8-pin, and then you've got your front panels if you want them to go through there, or whatever, whatever you like. It's, it's really quite well laid out. Good stuff, Bitfinex, good stuff. One thing I could imagine would be an issue with this, um, with the the clear paint, the not clear, the gloss paint job on basically everywhere people are going to touch is I can imagine it's going to be very attractive to fingerprints. But so far, what I'm seeing is fairly good resistance and it's quite smooth, not sticky like a lot of gloss finishes, which is a really good part to have. So good work on that bit, Phoenix. But I would still say that a matte finish should have gone a bit better. But it's good to see something different for once. So I'm not going to put you out on that one. Um, but yeah, definitely the gloss is a bit much. But I do like it. It's it's a nice touch. Okay, so here we have the ability to control four fans, which is good. USB header, no, no, HD audio header, and it's good, they've actually removed the AC97 cable, so it's just HD audio, getting with the times, I like it, it's good. Uh, for those of you who can't tell the difference, back in the day, front panel headers couldn't actually handle the new HD audio, so they, cases, people would often upgrade their cases and wouldn't upgrade the old hardware, I did a few times, so they would chuck in AC97, and HD audio, but now it's it's really quite irrelevant. They just support everything these days. Okay, so here we've got the we've got a USB header. This would be for the Bitfinex icon. As you can see, isn't designed for two ports. And on the front we have two USB threes, and that is it. This is USB two, so this is for the icon. You got your standard front panel connectors, your power LED reset switch and power switch. Okay, here, HD audio again, USB 3. Our fan controller, and that's everything there. Good, simple, well done in flat black, which is really good for a neat build. 
you basically won't see the cables coming up through the chassis until they go into the motherboard, which I absolutely adore. I think that's absolutely fantastic on Bitfinex's part. Awesome stuff. Now, for, for cooling, the case seems to have only come with one fan. Shockingly, um, yeah, it's only come with an exhaust fan. I do suppose you buy one of these cases, you're pretty much going to be looking at putting your own custom cooling in. But as I can see, we're going to flip it around again just quickly. Okay, and then we'll bring it up like that. You can put fans in the top part here, which will vent out there to mount a little radiator, probably a 120 or what, 240, whatever your, whatever your taste is. Um, we're going to take this top panel off here to see what our mounting ability is. Sorry if you're not looking at me guys, if you'd prefer to be, but I'm in sort of an awkward situation without an actual recording studio, so... Okay. Click it, clip out, and obviously daisy like that, and there you can see you've got your front panel and everything there. Let's take a quick look here. So there, up there you've got plenty of room for anything, for basically any water cooling configuration. You can take out the bracket that there, that is there for, secu for security, and you could easily mount a 240mm radiator there. So that's looking really good. Okay, I'm just going to put that there. So that's good. The top part is managed quite well. Okay, that's all. Um, from what I can see, we seem to have completely removable fan filters, which we're about to go have a look at, except for the top and the exhaust, which is, you know, pretty pretty self-explanatory. There's no point in filtering the exhaust air. Um, you also, I like this streamline that uh, Bitfinex have designed with the top mount vent. That looks really nice, really aesthetic. This could be a very powerful little build. I'm really excited to put a build into this because the, the ability to put a powerful as all hell system into this and have it looking both sophisticated and simple it's just it's so present so easy and it's just going to be absolutely fantastic now the power supply cover here the power supply shroud appears to have two screws that hold it down it doesn't look like it's actually been put in properly from the factory no no it has because then what it does is it actually slides in and mounts just like so for those who are wondering, no, I have not read the manual. I am just a very fast learner. So that is how that secures. I thought it was a bit loose, but now it's in properly. That's good to see. I love it. And that would hide any kind of ugly PSU, ugly PSU like I have with my Thermaltake Tough Power 1475. The decals on that are just atrocious. I hate them. Um, okay. We have another hard drive cage here, if you so need one, but I assume if you're going to be water cooling, this is going to be pump slash reservoir territory. So that's where that would be. Um, now, as for compatibility with water cooling, you can run SLI in this case. As you can see, room for one card here and one card there. Running from the pump, you could have hoses coming up into your 240 and around whichever configuration you want. I'm not you, so... Of course, it is up to you. And now with the introduction of M2 SSDs, if you are fairly light on your storage like I am, you could probably buy a one terabyte one, mount it to the board, and remove all these cages, every one of them, and have a fully open system, which would be really cool. That'd be absolutely fantastic. Okay, now, fan filters. Let's have a look -see. We're just going to upturn it. Okay, so here we have a complete, fully removable fan filter, which is magnetic. That is brilliant. That is absolutely brilliant. Um, that means to remove it, take it off, wash it. It's also plastic mesh, so water, you know, you chuck it under the tap, wash it, be done with it. And then when you're done, done horrific. 
You cannot ask for a better system than that. That is simple, it's effective, it's beautiful. I'm, I'm a massive fan of it already. I'm just, I'm very happy with that. Now, the front filter looks a little more complicated to get out, seeing as the fact that, well, it is magnetic, but as you can see, it's stuck behind this massive shroud on the front here. That is not a good look. I am not excited by that. Yeah, guys, I was, I was actually made unaware there is actually a top mount filter. And there it is. For those of you who obviously want to see how that came out, I'll show you. It's incredibly simple, incredibly well done. So I didn't. Beautiful. Elegant. Quick. Very well designed. That that has got to be one of the best. Fil th this case has probably one of the best filtration systems I've ever seen. That is awesome. That is absolutely fantastic. I am absolutely ecstatic with that. That is beautiful. It is simple. It works. It's elegant. Why can't all cases be designed as well? So. Now, we're going to remove the front filler, which is also done by magnet. Basically, you click these little clips inside, which can be a bastard. Just grip onto them hard and push. If they ever feel like coming out, sometimes they don't. There we have it. And behind there is the Bitfinex Aegis display. That's pretty cool. I'm just gonna put that down there. That is the easiest front panel I've ever seen to remove. And once again, magnet clip system for the front panel filter. You just remove it and stick it back on like so. actually fits in between these little things here just to make sure you've got it in the right place so look at that little tabs make sure you've got it in right it could be a little bit of secured as it seems to fall on its own a little bit but that's not an actual issue I think I might have got it upside down by mistake we're just gonna have a look I think I might have. No, no, it was, it was the right way. No, oh, no, I had it wrong. My mistake, gentlemen. Or did I? Oh no, I had it the wrong way. I had it the right way.
And there you have it. That is the teardown of the Aegis. It's a pretty, brilliant, pretty brilliantly uh, designed little case. Um, it's built for basically anything. Uh, any build you want to do, you can fit into this, which is, you know, very cool. Especially in the fact the world's gotten very happy with, you know, small builds, mini ITX, micro ITX. Just small is the name of the game these days. The case for an experienced modder, um, a beginner modder, an amateur modder, anyone, you can work with it. Um, to fit new CPU cores, you've got the massive cutout here, which it's almost the size of an MATX board, to be honest with you. So you could basically do whatever you want, really. You've got room upon room upon room to fit whatever you like in this case. This may be one of the best designed MATX cases I've ever seen. It's, it's fantastic. It has a few flaws here and there, but nothing that would really break the deal with many users as the fact is it's designed to be used. I can't come up with anything I don't like. Anyway, let's put the let's put the front panel on. The uh, side panel. So. That is awesome. That window is absolute sheer awesome. It allows you to see your whole system in a beautiful crystal clear window. No viewing issues at all. It really is spectacularly designed. I think it's time I put one of the cable ties to use. I don't know. That was there. Put the back panel on and see how well everything squishes down. This is a problem that's present in most cases today is back panel room. Look at that. Just slides on, no argument, fits on easy. The back panel is simple, well done, well finished. I really have no negative comments, except maybe the gloss paint is a bit much, but even then, you know, it's not... It's not a bad thing, even. It's just, yeah, it's it's well done, it's well presented. The screws could be threaded a little nicer. But that's, that's just small refinement. That'll bed itself in the more it gets modded, the more it gets used, the more it gets cleaned. And it comes with, it comes with the tiny things you expect a well presented case to come with uh, in the way of accessory wise and the way it's all done. Comes in a gloss black finish and as well as being a gloss black finish it's well finished, it's not half assedly done, it's, it's really well presented. Everything is finished. It's got a good well done powder coat. It's fairly scratch resistant for when you're switching around your build. So guys, I hope you enjoyed my video today. Um, if you watched it, thank you for watching it. Um, massive thank you to Benelux and to Bitfinex for, supply, for uh, supplying me with this pretty awesome little case. Um, I will be doing a build using it. Uh, it's, yes, it's, it struck me. 